Welcome back to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. I'm Rosa. And I'm still Sharon. (laughs) Thank you all once again for joining Conversations with Sharon and Rosa this week. Um, Yeah, we got a lot of feedback from last week's. (laughs) (laughs) From last week's show. And um, yeah, once we get the feedback, we just kind of get spin off. So this is kind of a spinoff too you know what was Today's the title last week what was um, it, the che- yeah. yeah once a cheater always a always cheater. a cheater yeah so Ooh. we heard all of your opinions we got you you know what i'm saying so i mean i was <laughs> blowed back baby it was, and, and it's okay and it's, it actually was good because it was so you guys was so passionate in the way you feel one way or the other and uh we appreciate that so yeah, like Sharon uh, was saying, you you all were so passionate about it, and thank you for the pro Rosa team ones. I appreciate y'all having my back. Well, well, and thank you for the pro Sharon. <laughs> I mean, it's not a competition. We're not, it's not you know, it's, but it's, it's fun. It is fun competition, actually. You so. know, but I don't know. It's just uh, <laughs> we appreciate you voicing, you know, where your alignment was. Okay? Absolutely. So it's Absolutely. all good. It's all good. Um. So before we get into today's title, you know, it's shout out time. Yes. So today um, goes to our subscriber, Share Life Health Matters. And yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And thank you for what you do. And thank you for being a subscriber and watching um, Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. Yes. Also, PhD Read. Gone, girl, with your doctorate's degree. Mm -hmm. Gone, yes. When one succeed, we all succeed, right? Absolutely. So thank you also for being a subscriber and um, sharing our videos um, to your your friends. friends. Yeah. Yeah. Friends and family, hopefully. And last but not least, Ninja Queen. Love the name. You are a queen. And thank you for being one of uh, Conversations with Sharon's number one fans. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you all, everyone who uh, watch mm-hmm. and don't forget to share our videos don't forget to like it and subscribe <laughs> please thank you <laughs> please. Please, yeah, yeah. so on with today's title Ooh. um so we decided to talk about when do you know you're over your ex so mm. But mm. some of us, you know, we get into relationships and we got to bring our ex with us. Right, right. So yeah. when do you know you're over that? When right. is that end is end? So you, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. If ever. Yeah, if ever, yeah. you know. So uh, you're here sharing in my view today and we would like to definitely hear your view. Yeah, because we're talking to everybody in lesbian land, you know, unless you're from a really different planet from a faraway galaxy, you have an ex. Nobody fell out of a tree uh, by themselves, you know what I mean? And when they did, they were looking around for somebody to date. So (laughs) we, uh, you know, everyone has an ex. And, you know, and it runs the whole uh, gamut of, you know, some people are so very close to their ex, you would think that they still in a relationship kind of thing you know and i've had some of those relationships right you know it's like uh i'm with you now but uh she's still around too and you have to understand it's her birthday today so that's why i gotta go to new york to be with her and her family well, what and it's not like you're not invited but i'd rather you not be there because you know how she feels about you right and you sometimes know. they don't even tell you that it's like oh my friend's gonna come right and you find right. out after the and third fr- time we've been hanging with your friend that y'all right. were at your friend like, is the ex yeah so so today we're just gonna talk briefly about you know like how do you know that you are gotten over your ex and right. gone on Absolutely. emotionally physically uh spiritually uh, any other bucket out there that i'm missing them too <laughs> right. okay so um you know, you guys know me. For people who've been watching the shows, y'all know I've been out there for a long time. And, uh, you know, Rose and I, we get ready to celebrate our fifth uh, anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh, but before Rose, ooh, I tell people you got to kiss a lot of frogs before you get your princess. Mm-hmm. No, all the women I was with were not frogs. I'm not saying that. But, you know, you know. She's saying that. You know when you're with the right one, the one. Yeah. And uh, before I go further. You really look good today, Rosa. I love oh, it. I love, love the hair. I love the outfit. And thank you. Yeah. We're yeah. actually headed out. So. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're, we're going to a show because uh, Rosa's taking me to see. Can I say that? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, she's taking me to see Gladys Knight tonight. So, hey, Gladys, you know you work too hard, but we're coming <laughs> to see y'all. But anyhow, so we stay on point. Um, we want to talk about exes, your relationship with your ex. Uh, how is it and is it affecting the, your present relationship? And how so? So, what has been some of the problems, some of the wrinkles, some of the pinches? Mm-hmm. Um, yes, I have several exes, and I jokingly say that they all live in Texas. That's not so. Uh, several live in California. But uh, as recent as, what, three weeks ago, we went to a, a, a gathering, and one of the exes was there. And, um, you know, what do you say? Hey, how's, <laughs> look, how's your mama? You know, that's what, well, that's what pretty much what you said. I, that is, you know what I mean? I mean, that's like, the how's same your mom, yeah, how's your parents? mom, you know, how, you know, how are your children, you know, but uh, seriously, just um, for some of our uh, friends in lesbian land, the exes, you know, you're, the woman you wit, one of her exes can be, you know, seemingly a very uh, still problematic mm-hmm. uh, to the relationship. And we, I don't understand it. To me, ex means ex. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, former, no longer here. Uh, used to be in the past. Yes. Uh, and that's the way I see it. But some people, like I said, we be out there, you know, peeping on the relationship. And I'm like, she's with her, her new, the new woman, and she's with the ex. And they're all going together because they still at the same timeshare. Yeah. What? And now, it, I do believe, though, if you have an ex, you can be friends and you can hang out with your ex. That's, you know, mm-hmm. but it, 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 it is a certain line that you have to draw. You know, I mean, your ex shouldn't be going everywhere with you. Oh, you shouldn't be wanting or, her to yeah, go exactly. with, with y'all, exactly. you know? And cause sometimes it almost looks like it's a, a, a different, uh, it looks like a, uh, a threesome. Like, you know, it's just like a unproclaimed menage a trois. Mm-hmm. Well, you've been with her and now you're with me and I know you still have, and she still has feelings for you and I got p- feelings for you and you know, and you know, she's a Gemini and you know you love your Libras and your Aries and y'all just going on like Right. You know, ain't nobody, like, ain't nobody, ain't nobody did anybody else see this? Right. Does anybody else think about this? So, so for me, so let me just speak from Sharon, the space that Sharon's in. Uh, X is an X. This is when you know you're over your X. One, if I don't call you to tell you happy birthday, know that I have put you in the forget about it, pal. Yeah, forget and she about remembers it. everybody's birthday. Everybody. So... It's not that she forgot your birthday. Right, I just <laughs> it's don't. It's just that, that she that. consciously made a decision to not call you. you no. Just, yeah. I'm just not even going to I've it. seen it happen. I had to wean her on. I'm like, call, you know, she'll say it's on some birthday. I'm like, won't you call him? Mm, no. Because sometimes it sends the wrong signal to, yeah. to, to, to the ex. Uh, something, give me another telltale sign, you know, that when you know that you... Um, For uh, me, you I know when I'm over ex, like... When I used to go places, like go on a vacation, and you know, you just broken up with somebody or you have an ex that you're like, oh, they would enjoy being here too. You kind of envision them there. Right, right. When I stop doing that, I'm over. It's, <laughs> it, I'm over you, you know. So that for me <laughs> is a big sign. Okay. Or like if, um, you know, you're with whomever you know your new person that you're with the new your boo? wife yeah the new whatever. boo you know that you over when you know your ex calls you or invites you somewhere and you just refuse to go or refuse to even take their call you know because if you're not over somebody you want to talk to them and you want to keep that communication right, going right right so right, when right. you saying no or no you know I have nothing to say to her then it's not hmm. then then I I think it's pretty much over well, you said when you don't even take the calls, you don't even yeah. reach out. I'm saying I don't even acknowledge your birthday. Uh, now, I will never deny we were together. You know what I mean? You know, because like some people are like, well, Sometimes y'all. Sometimes you want to deny, just, yeah, yeah, but, but you, you can't, can't, you know, right? you can't. You can't undo it, sweetie. You, you know, unless you go into negative time warp. You cannot undo it. You did right. it. Y'all were together for a moment for whatever reason, and now you're no longer. Right. Sometimes the dismount is good, and sometimes it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. You know, so uh, just be mindful. I mean, every re- every relationship is different, has its own momentum, its, its isms, its, its development and all that. Yeah. Uh, I am not anti-exes. I'm anti-nonsense that some exes try to put in your life. So Yeah, you, I mean, you're you still got, friends with some of your exes. Oh, so and I, I can I be. I mean, anti- friendly. Yeah, yeah, I can be friendly. I'm cordial. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, we, we, 
we shared this thing called time together. Mm -hmm. And when it, I always say when it was good, it was great. And when it was bad, it was horrible right. for, for some people. So I'm not trying to rekindle that. I'm not trying to look at the movies from it. Uh, none of that. Uh, over means over. Yeah. O-V-A. Over. Yeah. Okay. So, but, but when you're not over an ex, that's, to me, like, it's, it's sort of a danger zone. You know, how so? I mean, how so? For you or her? For the person who's not over it. So if I'm not over my ex, it's a it's a danger zone. If I'm in a new relationship. Oh, oh, I got because, you. Well, he shouldn't be in a new relationship. And that's truly. and that's what my point was getting ready to be. Um, you know, you have to be over that person before you can move on because that's where the danger starts. When you're not over somebody, and you get into an immediate relationship, mm -hmm. it's not fair to that person. Because you're not over them, you right. want to track them and know where they are. Still following them on going to so the same social clubs media that they had, yeah. and, and going, going to the restaurants y'all used to go to. Exactly, and it, and it's like you know you want them. You're using the one you're with to, to, to try to, past time right, right. or to make them jealous or whatever the it may be. But um, yeah, I think we need to when we're getting over somebody, get over them before we move on because that puts you in the danger zone. Now, so. another telltale sign for me, you know, when it's over, when I try to put not one, not two, but three states between us. I do not want you to You are not run. moving for nowhere I'm going back. No, no I'm inviting her to leave California because I ain't leaving. Okay, y'all know I love California. But, uh, uh, she you know, ain't, but, uh, ain't nobody leaving for her either. You know, but uh, I'm just saying, you know, um, you're done. I mean, you, you just, I don't want to run into you at Walmart. Uh, if we both used to get our hair done at the same place. Uh, now I can see you, know. you changing your different venues for different places mm -hmm. so you know you won't see the person because if you know, like you all are at the same bank or you at the same, like you said, hairdresser or mm -hmm. whatever it is. Because you know how like, small our worlds can be. I don't want to run into her. Right, right. I don't want right. to. So, Accidentally. So, uh, yeah. Per, no, I, I do not. So, I we used to go to this Macy's. I'm going to the one way across town. And you I do remember, what you have to do to get past it. And then when you are past them, then you can still, you can start frequent whatever you were frequent. Instead of going way across town, you can, you know, go like, to that. Yeah. Because if you see her... It means nothing. And it's not because you're scared or you're uh, angry or whatever. It's just sometimes, you know, it's just healthy not to. I'm not declaring war on people. Or I wish, you know, I don't want you in the state of California. <laughs> None of the dramatic stuff, though I am a Gemini and I have been there before. But I'm just saying that it's just healthy for your recovery, for your well-being, for you to get back into your normal, your new normal and your life without her. Yes. So you know, I remember one of my buddies. They they broke up with a with a sweetie, and she they still go to the same gym. Yeah, you know, like you know, there's too many gyms in California in the world for you to be going to the same one that she goes to. Um, or at least you you know what time they normally worked out. So just change your time so right. you don't even run into them. But some people. You know, I mean, it's almost like you get, you get, you know, you're looking forward to the to the pain or, yeah. or for that uncomfortable. Like, did I see Sheila? Yeah, for the yeah you saw Sheila because you know Sheila's schedule. Yeah. You know what time she works. You know which Friday she has off, and you know that she usually in the gym between nine and twelve. Right. Well, then you need not to be there in the gym. Yeah, just doing those it. hours unless you want to see Sheila. Yeah. Okay. Well, I um was dealing with a woman one time up in Northern Cal and mm -hmm. I'm telling you I didn't know the girl was her ex until like probably the third time I had gone up there and um you know she was telling me the back story of who this woman was because every time we I go up there we you know plan to hang out this woman was coming and I'm like oh well, who is she you know that she's your not best a, right right she's not a relative right mm -hmm. and it was like in one time we picked her up you know like everybody's driving together and I'm like oh ho 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 wait a minute what is going on and I can see that their relationship had taken a different turn you know but it was the it was the simple fact to me that she always invited her always it's almost like I don't really want a long time with you when you come. So I got to invite her to break that and up. And you didn't know that and was her feel, ex? Not, at, not at, at first. It was probably well, the third time. She invited me to, her ex had worked at a um, a college. And mm -hmm. she they were putting on some type of play or, or something was going on. And she invited me. And she had, when she invited me, she told me the particular woman that she that was her ex. 
told her to ask me to come. So she was like, she wants you to come and blah, 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 blah. And so I was just like, oh, that's your friend. And mm-hmm. she said, well, she is, she is um, my good friend. You know, when we were dating, we couldn't get along. But now when we, we're not dating, we get along very well. And I'm like, wait a minute, you used to date her? Ooh. And so, like, the whole <laughs> dynamics changed because it was like, I never knew this. But I did know... I did notice, like, when we had gone out a couple times, she knew some things about her, you know, that, you know, when you're dating somebody, they just know how you like your coffee or, Mm -hmm. you know, what to order you when we go to breakfast or that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So she knew that. She knew that type of stuff. But I was just like, "Mm, okay. Yeah. Well, what did you... So that's a a lesson learned, too. Like, when you're starting a date, you need to tell people who people are in your life. Right. If you invite other people to go places with you. You know, if y'all just strictly friends and say that's your friend, that's your, you know, you grew up together, y'all went to the same high school, you met through a mutual friend. My family knew her family, whatever it is. And you do do owe your new person an explanation or or something. At least just a reality, hey, this is what, this is, we were together five years ago, we no longer are, but we we still have some kind of friendship. Are you comfortable with that? You know what I mean? if you don't, you know how messy it's going to be in lesbian land. Oh, and it messes up Thanksgiving. Stop Absolutely. inviting them. Stop <laughs> inviting them. Oh, she's seeing somebody else. That's cold for, that's the cover for, she's waiting on me to break up with you right. so, so we can get back together. Right. Sometime. Right. Not all the time. You know, so, again, we're talking today about how do you know when it's over with you and your ex? Um, I had one um, set of friends, they were together not quite 10 years and and you know they were very very exclusive relationship while well, they broke up mm. and they argued for the next five years over the timeshare and my thing is it wasn't about the timeshare not if you gotta argue for three five, or four yeah, years yeah, about okay, some timeshare okay and it wasn't the timeshare to Hawaii I mean I mean it was just a timeshare somewhere don't get me wrong it, it could have been anywhere but it was uh you know they really made it it's difficult for the other and I said well just buy her out just give her half of whatever she put in no I don't want her there I don't want her there at the same place that we once had our whatever our honeymoon or what it got it went it got ridiculous it got crazy it got nasty it got ugly and and then I was just like it ain't the timeshare. Yeah. Y'all got yeah, some but other... we're trying to hurt each other yeah, and didn't know I guess how it, to do that. But so. y'all need, you don't need a realtor. You yeah. need therapy. <laughs> something, something wrong with y'all, you know? And well, good thing they didn't have children together because then they would have used the children. But oh, the only thing they so had wrong. together was the timeshare, so that's all they could use, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So, so give me another, uh, 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 like I tell people, like, um, if you're going to break up, you, you know what I mean? You, you're going to, you, I don't know, it's going to be some pain. There's going to be some bloodletting. You know, in the sense of somebody's going to be really, really hurt. If it's the, you know, uh, one woman told me, I can't leave her uh, because, like I said, uh, we don't have $30,000 in the bank yet. Um, um, the equity in the house, honey, it ain't going to be no equity in the house right. if that's, if you really want to leave. If she's your ex, she's your ex. You go on, look, suck it up. Take the hit financial, financially. Sell the condo. Yeah, sell. sometimes you do got to take one for the team and just roll. Mm-hmm. I, if you really you know, want, you, you yeah. know. Cause when I divorced, I, I started over. I, I pretty much started over, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, outside of not buying a, a new washer and dryer, I started <laughs> over, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah, those breakup relationships have a way of humbling you. Um, yeah, you, yourself, know, you know but, what I mean? But, and Not I was my okay with that glasses. because I didn't want to drag it out and argue. Because I could have argued over stuff that stuff really didn't stuff. matter. No. Exactly. And when he, you know, switched up the last minute on stuff we had already agreed on me taking, now he want this because he won't have that. And I'm like, look, fine. Fine. You buy another. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Fine. We had a living room set and a um, family room set. Mm-hmm. And he was going to keep the family room set. I was going to take, take the living room set. But at the end, he want both. Yeah. You know, family it just gets, set. It, it was just nasty. too much. I'm like, I'll, I'll, I'll sit on the floor in my new place. But right. guess what? I'm leaving. Right. And I'm going right. to be in my new place. And you place. won't be there. Yeah. Exactly. So sometimes you just have to take take the L. Yeah. And, and it's okay. Yeah. Because one step backwards is two steps forward for me. So, Sometimes. so ladies, so why do we make it look so difficult? You know what I mean? It's like, like we can't set boundaries for our exes or, you know, like, well, she always comes over Christmas Eve. 
Yeah, that was until I came into your life. Right. Now, she needs to not come over for Christmas Eve. Well, I'll tell you this. I had a little scenario. Uh, Uh-oh. No, no, no. no. Uh, <laughs> let me see. How do I clean this up? No, I'm not even going to go there. No, just, no, no. Just, no, no, I'm, I'm, no I'm, you got to no, tell no. them now. Well, I'm just saying. Um, you know, when I got with Rosa, you, you know, there was an ex- there's always an ex, mm-hmm. you know. Um, oh, we're going to tell them that. Okay. Yeah. yeah it, it was bad. an ex who wanted to, you know, come over and visit the, the children, which I, that's fine. Cause I know we get, we get attached to children. Are you talking about my ex? Yeah. I'm talking about <laughs> you. And, <laughs> that you were talking about you. No, no, I don't have any kids. I know. know but when you so, said that, so, I know you talking so about. So the ex did not, then I'm thinking like, okay, the ex wants to come over and play with the kids, is that code for I really want to see the kid's mother, I'm trying to be mature, and the reasonable aging lesbian who's cool with stuff, as long as I know what stuff is, mm-hmm. and that is appropriately labeled. Well, they didn't show up to, to play with the kids. And I was a little disappointed, because I don't like kids being disappointed. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then when it happened the second time, I just like, you need to talk to the ex. Not for me, but for the kids. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, um, Rose didn't know I was going to speak about that. Uh, and it wasn't, it didn't get ugly. Every, everybody was adult and everything. But the principle is for me, I just wanted to know what were the parameters because my thing is like, okay, she wants to come see the kids. Uh, does she think she's coming to Disneyland with us? Uh, should we get an extra room? Well, I wasn't inviting I'm being, her places. No, I, know, I know you weren't, but and I'm I being was dramatic. over her. So I, I, yeah, you were. It really, you're, for me, were oh, so the kids. I thought, you know, I, I asked the kids if they wanted to go. If they had said no, it would have been like, no, they're just not coming. Right. But they right. really enjoyed her, her co- when we were together. Right. And I get that. And, and I get it too. And so I was okay if she wanted to spend some time with them if they wanted that as well um but at the same time i i definitely was over because it wasn't like i was gonna spend time with her with the kids you know if you come in and get them you come you get the kids right and i'm not going so right but have them back at eight i didn't okay. necessarily have to even see her at mm-hmm. that point but you know after like sharon said after the second time i was wondering the same thing really too i'm like oh, well maybe she just that's her way of want to stay in contact or mm-hmm. you know so i had to you know, back off from that. Yeah, yeah. Although she and I are friends to this day, I still had to back off to make that, you know, space between us. And then it's okay. You know, so I don't, you know, know what her feelings are today. I just know that I'm over it. <laughs> so. Okay, okay, and I'm but she's just, a nice person, and, and 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 exactly, and like I said, being adult about it, you know, it doesn't have to go from you know, hello, how you doing, to Uglyville. No, you know, but it's just that we Rose and I, we do have the conversations about it, or uh, did have some conversations about it, and and mm-hmm. as I say that. Um, there's been people who kind of who used to be in my orbit too, and I was like, hey, so we're going to be at such and such a locale. So and so may be there. Are you cool with that? And if the answer is no, right. you know, it's no, you know. We, but I'm just saying, if, but if I'm, met I'm, I'm most honest. Most of your exes. Mm, mm, okay. oh, most of them. I think so. You've you've met the most recent ones. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, so, so all I'm saying, we had the conversation. So, uh, as we're having the conversation today, you know, when is the ex, uh, ex, how do you know you over the ex? You know, it when it's, um, when it doesn't cringe, you don't cringe at the sight or sound of her name. Right. It's when your favorite song that you did, you both used to love and swear you knew all the words to, when it comes on, you don't have a particular, um, you know, mental breakdown again. Well, that happened the other day, and you got upset with me. I was like, Oh, this is the song that so-and-so used to play when a song came on. Remember, we were in the car. I remember. And then you got home still with an attitude. And I'm like, I, I did not didn't have even have to tell you that. Like, I I just remember liking the song because of the ex, you know, always dedicating it to me. And then I told her, and she got a little attitude. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I won't say that again. But... It didn't move me. It just, hmm. that was the memory of the song kind of right. came on. And right. I mean, you didn't pull over and cry for five minutes. Yeah, I get no. that. But as I tell Rosa sometimes. And I definitely it, don't damn sure it won't be back in this ex life. So it, that ain't happening. I said, if you, if I, if you think I can make it through the rest of my life without hearing it, let you, you know, the answer is probably you don't have to do it. And, you know, I was just, I don't remember overreacting, but I remember the moment. I yeah, but then you, when we got home, because it was playing in the car, and when we got home, it was like you still kind of just 
felt some kind of way. And I'm like, what? <laughs> well, we're human. No, I know we are. I, mm. I'm just saying mm. it really wasn't me thinking of the ex because it, it it was some crazy stuff when I think of that ex. So I try not to. Okay. And I'm over that for sure. Mm, okay. She can be mm. butt naked. Grease. Grease down. <laughs> <laughs> with me not have been with a woman in 10 years and I still would say, say uh, no uh, uh, no thank you what else you got what else you got? <laughs> it ain't gonna be look look it might be her but it won't be me and her How about exactly that? <laughs> exactly okay so so anyhow we, we just want to get a healthy balance with things and 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 the, you know the just to chat with you guys, how do you feel about it in lesbian land? You know, how do you deal with that ex, and how do you know the ex is really an ex, mm-hmm. and in the appropriate foul? You know what I mean? Because sometimes we're saying, oh, that's my ex, but y'all ain't exes, y'all still on. For real. You know, or acting like you're on, and uh, you know, I, I got a couple of buddies who I got questions, yeah. but it's none of my business because if it seems to work for them, who am I to say? I'm, Absolutely. Rose and I come home like, mm, wouldn't be me, baby. <laughs> the, mm, mm, uh, uh, yeah, um, yeah. No, no. I excellent actress, but I, I'm not playing that role. But you can, I think you can tell if someone's over their ex by the way they act around them too. You know, like you start, especially if you know the person you with, and you be like. Why she all of a sudden giggling at everything? Mm. Or why all of a sudden mm. she got to keep fidgeting her, her feet? Like, it's like a, a a difference in a person when they're not over their ex. And, mm-hmm. the, and the ex and them are in the same, you know, room or right. area. And they still got that unfinished business yeah. with each other. And yeah. so, and like, we're not giving advice on it. We're just, one, just asking the question and like, you know, just to be aware of it. But how do you handle that? Because with me, I mean, I'm not going to sneak and peek and tip around. I'm going to, if I, if I see something, or things that make me scratch my head, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to wifey about it. Now, is that a third cousin removed, or is that the one who you once you know, ran away to Puerto Rico with, or tell me, did, right. did, you, you know, and are you cool that she's here with Sarah? You right, know? right. <laughs> you know, because sometimes it could be your partner be the one that's acting a little weird. You know what I mean? Right, that's what know, I'm saying. You know, because like, your ex seems to be okay. She's gone, gone on with her life, and you seem to be misty yeah. about it. Well, that's a whole nother topic. That's, I think that's a little jealous, but... Well, just, but again, we've, we've we're spoken human. about that too. No, I know yeah, we're human, babe. We're and, and human. we and we really supposed to feel some type of way, but it's mm-hmm. because you you kind of don't want to let your guard down, you know. But at the same time, you're we're adults. We're not just gonna come in cussing people out because they're the ex, right? Know? Oh no, no, no. So and, and the ex ain't gonna, gonna do be, it either. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you're still gonna be who you are, but you don't want to let your guard down. Okay, I can hear that. Well, one of my little quick acid tests is like, you know, uh, when I know I'm over the ex, like if I can hear her name and not throw up, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm good now. I'm good. I, I, w- I wasn't okay 10 years ago, but I'm okay now. She was not throwing up over nobody's <laughs> name. Don't let her fool y'all. She out here. <laughs> you need to stop. Well, I did tell you what this really did happen. Um, it's just um, perfume that one of my exes would wear. And I'm in a mall. God, this has got to be 20 years ago. And I smelt it because nothing else smells like that perfume. It passion, you know, it's a strong smell. Yeah. And I um. and it like, but when I smelt it, it scared me because it brought back such a flood of memories. I mean, it didn't scare me like in a bad way, but it just like, mm-hmm. it was like a little jolt there. You know what I mean? Like is she around? You know who else wears that? Right. You know, or who else smells like that in that with that scent? You know, yeah. like oh wow, you know. So I had a little moment, and then I like. Whew, Ooh, it's just a smell. So you uh. weren't really over her in that moment. I I guess not. Oh, I guess okay. not. But like I said, it snatched me back into a, a flood of feelings, a flood, a flood, and you know. So I was just like, hmm, even though I thought I was very much over her, and one part of me was, and surely the other parts wanted to be. But when you know, just the whiff of that perfume, just like, and I didn't even like the perfume. Didn't even like passion. Ugh, yeah. it's just too strong. Ugh. You know, but uh, anyhow, so so what we want you to do, just to be mindful of it. And, you know, like when somebody like, you know, how do you know your ex is an ex? Because you should know. 
And if they don't know, uh, you have no business treating her like she's not the ex. Absolutely. You know so, what I mean? Because it's, it's wrong. It's not the healthiest thing for you, and it's surely not healthy for your relationship should you have gone on and been in another relationship. And go on and fess up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, hey, you know, we exes, but we still, we left a lot of things unsettled. You know, I, I, I got one buddy, you know, I hadn't seen her in over five years. And I said, oh, what happened to you and your lamb chop? She said, well, we broke up, and I don't know why we broke up. Well, how the hell can you live with somebody damn near 10 years and then y'all break up and you have no idea why you broke up? You know what I mean? I'm like, oh. She knew. She, she didn't know, want to tell she, you. She what, didn't want to tell yeah. me. Or, but something was definitely, you know, you can yeah. just tell me it's none of my business, but something wasn't right. Right. Like something had happened, as Rosa right. said, something happened. So, so we just want you guys to be, you know, be, be on your guard, be, be, be aware, you know, of how you're dealing with your ex and how, um, how it is affecting your relationship. Absolutely. If everything's cool, cool. We ain't starting nothing. We just saying that sometimes it's good just to check in that box, especially if you got the ex who you know she she almost beats you to your own house. Absolutely, you and know? know when when you know you know when you know right, and you know, know that when, you're over, and uh, yeah. and know when to pump the brakes just in case yeah, that's true she too. has more of a problem letting go than you do. As you've gone on, and, and sometimes now. you got them crazy exes that just want to keep fueling the fire. Yeah, you got to be the one to blow it out, though. You gonna have to Ooh. be. Well, and with that, um, I think we're going to stop right there. So here we go. <laughs> you know, as always, you know, we're wishing you the very best. Of all good things, stay safe and stay woke. And know when your ex is your ex. Thank you.